As everybody knows, I'm a professional athlete, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an advocate, I'm a motivational speaker. And all of this came from my experiences of being a volleyball player. I've learned so much, I've grown so much, and that is one of my biggest advantages coming into this pageant. What is one beautiful word in Tagalog? Maganda! It means beautiful! I love that word because it represents each woman, each Filipina, and it says a lot about our culture. I hope that we all learn to encourage our women and to lift them up to be confident and to be empowered. What is that one learning experience that you have as a child that made so much impact on you? I have been uh, highly supported by my parents and what they taught me is to encourage others, to support others, to work with others. That's why it benefited me as a team player playing sports and it also benefited me joining beauty pageants because you represent an organization. Working with them, collaborating with them and uh, being a spokesperson, you have to know how to encourage other people. That is one of the most valuable lessons that my parents has imparted on me. What about doing this pandemic? One of the greatest lessons during this pandemic, among a lot, is to be generous. I learned how to be generous not only with my words, by checking up on people, but also with my time. I have spent my time putting up an organization called Your 200 Pesos. We were able to serve thousands of families, not only in Metro Manila, but in the nearby provinces. I learned that if more people are generous, then less people will become hungry, less people will struggle, and we will have a more united Philippines. I have been working a lot for sports. I have been part of uh, different organizations of the government. But if I do win Miss Universe Philippines, I do know that the role is to represent the organization. I'm willing to learn more about the advocacy of Miss Universe Philippines, to work with them, to empower women, and to believe and stand by all the values that they also believe in. What color do you think represents the phenomenal woman? Green represents a phenomenal woman. Aside from it being the color of life, in my experience, it is the color of champions. I graduated from De La Salle University with three championships in my back, and I know that this is a color that inspires and empowers and shows off a strong and confident phenomenal woman. <laughs> I'm biased. <laughs> Allow me to be. <laughs> I've been hearing the word working from home nowadays. Yes, Pop. So, what do you think are the skills needed nowadays in what you call the workplace of the future? I work from home as an athlete. We cannot have uh, physical trainings. And one of the most important values that I've learned is to be disciplined. Nobody is watching you. Nobody is uh, telling you what to do. You have to know what it takes to become better and that is my goal every single day and it takes so much discipline to wake up in the morning to set a schedule despite not having physical work and not being able to report to a physical office it's very important for children for workers and for office mates in general if there is one spot in Quezon City whether natural or man-made that you'd like to promote in the world what would it be? Super <laughs> Quezon City Circle, I must say. It was one of the most popular um, landmarks of Quezon City. But more than that, it's a place that I've been to ever since I was young. And recently, because of the pageant, I was able to visit and film there. And I've seen how much they preserved it. The culture, the beauty. And you can see so much. The tomb of Manuel El Quezon, the Philippine Car Museum, if you haven't visited, is a definite must place to go. There's a campaign that's called Hashtag Love Local. Yes, Pop. So what local products do you want to promote? We all know Quezon City is popular for the celebrities. Our main product is people, entertainment. But in this journey for Miss Universe Philippines, I'd really like to promote garments and textile. If you are not familiar with Kamuning Textile Market, it's very popular and a lot of people go. And I know that uh, with our everyday activities, being a Miss Universe Philippines candidate, I can showcase the different designers and the different products from my own city. Last question for you is, what's one thing that you think young people should focus on? Young people like you. Young people should focus on their dreams. And uh, to achieve those dreams, you have to prepare yourself and equip yourself. Keep on learning, keep on growing, keep on taking risks. But at the end of the day, our dreams are our own. And uh, no matter how much people criticize you or put you down, you have to empower yourself first before you want to empower others. 
Thank you. Yes, because when, when people think about Quezon City in, instantly, it's GMA, ABS, Artistas, but we have a lot of designers in Timog alone, and that's because they're close to Kamuning, the resource for textile. Thank you, Pa. Have a great day. Oh, my name is Pauline Cucharo Amlings. I'm your Boholana Belgian from, of course, the beautiful province of Bohol. My dad is a Belgian and I'm Filipina, so I'm like a mix of both cultures in one, and I'm very excited to be here today. Um, what is one beautiful word in your local language, and what does it mean? I would like to choose the word puhon. It means hopefully. It's a word that we use whenever we talk about something that is going to happen in the future. Like, I'm going to join Miss Universe Philippines, puhon, hopefully, with God's blessing. What is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made much in trouble? One learning experience I had as a child was that I had to not be shy when it comes to myself and when it comes to my body and my capacities. I was very shy, always in the corner, but my mom and my dad always kept telling me, you have to really be out there. That's the only way for you to grow. That's the only way for you to shine. Uh, what is that one major lesson that you learned? Uh, during this <sighs> I think I learned so many things from cooking to, to planting, but I think one thing that I really learned is how interconnected everything really is. From the animal world to the human world, from communities, interprovince, and I think that that just reminds me of the fact that we all play a part in fighting this pandemic and that we can all rise together. I would want to be a spokesperson and a rallying point to bring people together in meaningful conversation and together look for solutions. And I think that with this platform of influence, that's something I can really do. Oh, uh, what color symbolizes the phenomenal <laughs> Oh, that's very interesting. For this moment, I would like to choose pink. Pink is the color that would symbolize me as a phenomenal woman. And uh, pink is also something that you will have to watch out for during my, uh, my performances for a preliminary or evening gown. I'm not going to mention which one, but I'll just tell you that. And it's also my favorite color. I have an emotional relation with that color because every time my dad would give me gifts, it would always be something pink. I'm, I'm excited to see all your pink outfits <laughs> in the next few days. Yes. I'm also excited to find out. Yeah. So if given a chance to promote to the world a spot that whether man-made or natural in the mm -hmm. world. I would have to choose the Lobok River Cruise. The Lobok River, I don't know if you've tried it. I hope that you've had. You tried it? So hopefully then you agree with me. The Lubbock River Cruise is really one of the more amazing things that you can do in Bohol. It's not just good food, it's not just you being on that river cruise, but it allows you to interact with the locals in dance and in song. And every time I'm there, I always make it a point for me to dance at the Nikling with the locals, even though I risk getting my, my feet hurt with the bamboo. But it's really one of the things I would want everyone to know about here in Bohol. Let's go on the work side. That, uh, that's recreation. Now let's go to the work side. We've been hearing the word work from home. Yes. So, what do you think are the skills that we need to uh, develop for the workplace of the future, as we call it? Whew, I have worked from home also during during the first few months of the pandemic. I'm sorry, it's a bit cold. During the first few months of the pandemic, and I think patience is one thing that we all need to work on on ourselves especially with the internet connection that we have at home there are so many times that i've had meetings and then my internet connection would fade out and then i wouldn't hear the rest of it i think patience above everything else is something that we need to work on and from then on we at least have the clear mind to work on everything else there's a campaign called hashtag love local okay 
So if you had a local product that you had to promote, what would it be? It would definitely be Rafia from Tubigon Loom Weavers. I'm not wearing it at the moment. I will be wearing it for one of the segments. For one of the segments. <coughs> That I would also look forward to seeing. Definitely, yes. Um, I'm not going to indulge any more information about that, but Rafia is really a product that's from my hometown in Tubigun. And it really takes so many people to make uh, a, Rafia, a Rafia roll. And there's so much thought and effort that goes into it. And it's a beautiful product with so many possibilities. What is, that, what is one thing that you think young people should focus on? At the moment, it's really staying strong and continuing their, their dreams of educating themselves, even during these pandemic times. We all are having a hard time, but that doesn't mean that our dreams, our passions are cancelled. They're just on hold, and I think that they all need to have hope in their hearts to continue what they're dreaming on and to somehow make their dreams still come true. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you.